I cannot believe this, bro. This is honestly like one of the most touching moments I think I've ever had on YouTube. Supreme, like, honest to God, thank you all. James Jebbia, I really never thought this day would come, man. I, I really want to say thank you so much to the whole Supreme team, man. I woke up this morning, an email from James Jebbia himself. He informed me that I actually have my own Supreme t-shirt now, bro. Like, I never thought I would get to share this news with you all. The first ever YouTuber to get a collaboration with Supreme. I just got the news it's going to be releasing this week. Here it is, you guys. The first ever Supreme Boon photo tee. Oh, I hate my fing life, bro. Right? Damn it! Yes, I am having to cop this atrocity and uh, let's just start the video, bro. <laughs> Fuck! Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Boone coming at you all with a brand new video. You guys heard the news, man. Fuck my life, bro. I don't know why I set these like goals because the moment you guys hit them, I'm just like. Like, why did I do this? I've already had like at least 10 people DM me. Hey, Boone, you getting that shirt this week? Like, yes, I am copping the clown, the boon tee, all right? This is not even the clown tee. I've certified this one as my own. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, um, in my Supreme Lookbook reaction, I told you guys, if you hit 1.1K likes, I would buy this piece of art. Um, I'm gonna be buying one this week. You're gonna have to get a lot of likes on this video. If we get 1.1K likes, I will cop this stupid clown shit. But I'm not buying this shit. I'm sorry. You guys are gonna have to get a lot of likes on this video. But we're gonna also discuss what you should go for this week on the Supreme website. It's week two. I know this isn't the week a lot of you guys expected. Everyone was thinking the Supreme dunks were gonna be coming out this week. But honestly, man, I think we should be happy they're not. Just look at last season. I don't want them to drop all the heat right out the gate and then leave the rest of the season deader than V-Loan, bro. Like, so please, uh, Supreme, take your time with those dunks, man. Let's get into this video today, though. Drop a like if you guys enjoy. Drop a like if you feel bad for me because I'm gonna have to spend like what 90 a hundred dollars on this like all right we get it <laughs> let's just get in this video though today I hope you all do enjoy it man let's get started I do apologize everyone that I didn't do any video over the weekend or anything man I honestly like wanted to but this weekend was kind of rough I might talk about it in a different video it was not a good time for me though so we're trying to bring back the vibes you know we're trying to get positive over here so we got a nice little lookbook to look at if you guys are actually like bummed it's not dunks week I get it but like Bro, this is still a very good week for resale, and if you don't know why, I'ma help you out. But I do have to mention, man, if you want more in-depth resale analysis of the Supreme Drop alongside restock monitors, there's a huge chat room full of people with these same interests and same ambitions to make money reselling items. And you gotta come sign up for browser. Week one profits for us, man. We're just going crazy. Like, I've had so many people send me messages. Hey, Boone, good looks for the trucker hat call out. Good looks for the camp cap call out. And we do this every single week, so yeah, we're just gonna to keep giving predictions on there if you guys want more assistance with these drop lists go sign up I'm sorry for the promo though let's get into talking about this week so the number one upvoted item is actually the contrast hooded sweatshirt I'm usually roasting these upvotes but this one's coming kind of correct um, there is like some better items for resale but I think this is gonna get overlooked by people man I think without a doubt everyone's thinking New York denim pants New York denim jacket and those are definitely the best items of the week but if you want an easier cop and still some for sure profit this is the item for you um, these are gonna definitely sell out slower than those New York items except that natural colorway is gonna be a problem, bro. I, Honest to God, if you wanna have a fun time, I would maybe not even go for the natural. It's probably going to teleport. But that black and purple, really good cop still. Um, even the olive, I think, is a pretty good one. Um, but I mean, shit, if you're feeling ambitious, maybe like a medium or large for this natural hoodie. These are gonna have really good profit, though, without a doubt. I almost wanna go for one myself, just knowing how disgusting the website's gonna be with the New York denim items releasing. So let's get into talking about though you got the jackets alongside the jeans alongside the rest of the collection releasing the rest of the collection but this denim man we all know it's valid and what do I even have to say about this like all over embroidered New York logos just an iconic logo iconic team we all know by now the supreme denim items do pretty damn well I know everyone's feeling the light blue denim and it probably will do best for resale but come on bro that black denim is so appropriate I don't know what it is like black on black embroidery it just looks so nice like it's so low-key but at the same time you still kind of see it it's my favorite color personally but um, if you cop any size any color color of this jacket definitely a W it'll probably be like 268 328 so if you don't have that much money go for the pants but I actually think the jackets probably gonna be easier to cop don't even look at XL if you do go for this jacket like it's just it's not gonna happen if you get an XL 
denim jacket manual. I see you. Come on, bro. Don't even make me talk about these, dog. These are so fucking dumb. Like, I'm sorry. I've waited for someone to tell me, like, hey, Boone, you don't know about the Carrera overtop goggles. That's a signature model. Like, there's not been a soul that has stood up for these goggles, bro. I do not know what these are, but they are certainly not going in my cart. And uh, no, like, if you buy those, you're sick. And I respect it. You know, I'm with the brick shit as well. We're not even going to talk about those, really. Let's talk about these jeans. Um, again, the same applies, man. That black color just, it's too nice for me personally. I know half you guys don't pay attention to baseball or nothing, but the Yankees have a lot of potential to actually go to the World Series this year. And if they do, you heard it here first, man. These will skyrocket even more so. Like, just think about the Lakers effect, um, how much those items went up after they won the championship. Same shit will happen with these, just if they make the World Series in general, man. So, like, the hype for these are just at an all-time high. Honestly, it's gonna help out all the Yankees items that they're doing so well this year. I mean, how could they not when they bought like half the good players in the league, but we're not gonna get into that. Um, definitely, if you do go for these jeans, my best recommendation, like my number one tip for copying these, don't go for size 30, don't go for size 36. Thank me later, all right? I'm telling you guys, 30 and 36, shock them, bruh. Uh, sell out first every time, size 30 especially. Like, don't even bother with it. Um, 32, 34 will be easier to get manual. It makes me sick to tell you guys that, but I'm telling you, really good tip right there. I personally don't even know if I'm gonna go for these yet, to be honest. Like, I know they're going to fly, but I gotta try, man. I gotta try, so I probably will be going for the pants. And moving on, we have the track jacket item. So, I'm definitely not not as excited with these as I am the other pieces. That being said, this is still a really good cop this week. Now, fuck no, this Jolly Rancher green bullshit. I don't know what they were thinking with this colorway. Should have just done like the inverse coloring. Like it makes no sense. The green color, don't even look at it. I would not bother, but this gray is pretty valid, man. The big supreme hit on the back is gonna help it. Where is it? Right there. That's gonna help it out a ton. Um, this is definitely a sleeper item. XO for this track jacket might even get you as much resale as the other denim items. So sleeper pick right here for sure. Although it's not that sleeper of a pick. I think we're all looking at these Yankees items. Um, the pants are definitely the most missable of all the items. If you go for the pants, I would only get an XL. XL pants just do well with Supreme. And moving on, we got the Mountain Hockey jersey. Um, this one is honestly kind of hard for me to predict just because we don't have retails yet. I'm guessing this is all screen printed. Um, I'm pretty sure it is, so it shouldn't be too expensive. But if you do end up going for one of these, it's going to be the black colorway for me. Um, both colors should do pretty decent. Like, this does remind me a lot of those TNF um, mountain face jackets. And all around, it's a pretty solid hockey jersey. The hockey jerseys do sell pretty well for Supreme. The last one I told you guys to buy ended up selling for like ridiculous prices, the crossover. That was the last hockey jersey I bought from Supreme. I'd probably say the same for this one. Go for an XL if you go, maybe like a large, but definitely a multi-cart item. It's not gonna fly or anything, and you are gonna have to hold on to it. It's not a first day flip item. Moving on, um, I've seen a lot of people hating on these, the Supreme Airbrushed uh, New York Yankees hoodies. But honestly, I think it's a kind of dope way of paying tribute to the city. Airbrushing is one of those like old school New York trends, I guess. So it kind of pays homage to the city in a pretty unique way. I thought that was a dope subtle touch to this collab. Um, so I'm sure this isn't for everyone. And I'm sure a lot of you really hate these items. I've seen it all over social media. But don't tell me that navy and white is not kind of crispy. I actually think it's a pretty cool item. Um, they really did turn the Yankees logo into more of a fashion piece than just like a baseball team. And I gotta give credit where it's due to Supreme for that because I really did think this whole collab was just gonna be boring Yankees and Supreme logos. That being said, I would really only go for the white and navy and I don't know, like XL and shit, man. Like you're gonna have to hold on to these hoodies without a doubt. Supreme hoodies in general are like always hold items. So, well, besides these contracts, these are definitely gonna flip. But uh, yeah, if you do go for this, I would really only go for the white and navy. Damn, look at this little Sheba, man. We got my t-shirt, so. um. <laughs> Fuck, dude, I just like, how did I sign myself up for this shit? All right, I guess you guys can help me out. Let me know which color do I get of my t-shirt. I kind of want to go for black just because it's the most basic. Like, I don't know, you guys know me. I always wear black t-shirts. The blue is actually kind of nice. I don't really like the poop brown, the gray is whatever. Um, the blue is kind of nice, but it also pops out too much. Like, I don't want to be on the side of the street. Someone recognizes me because of this light blue clown t-shirt, so, or boon t-shirt, my bad. So I might just be going for the black one, but you guys decide, man. Let me know which color you think I should cop of this shirt. I still can't believe I have to buy one of these. Like, it's sequined, bro. I didn't even realize it was sequined when I like was cracking jokes about it. They somehow made a clown on a t-shirt even worse than what it already was. Shout out to you, Supreme. And we're gonna jump from that horrific 
clown shirt to maybe the worst item of the entire season. I actually got asked on my Instagram during like a Q&A, go follow me by the way, uh, what do I think is the worst item of the season? And my answer to that question was without a doubt this red vest, bro. Like what? is this bro like i don't know why this exists on this earth if you had told me i would die two years earlier or have to look at this vest for another five minutes <laughs> kill me now bro like oh my god so bad and it's like the other colorways are not doing it any other favors but that red bro like that is just a violation to fucking mankind like that's all i gotta say about it if these resell i might be done like i might just quit the game like <laughs> Please, no, there, there's no way. There's no way. Don't even bother buying these. Faux furs have been doing kind of bad with Supreme. No. Uh, next up, script logo beanies. These are actually pretty clean. Um, I've been trying to go easier on beanies. However, it is winter time now, man, which is gonna help out the beanies a lot more. Spring, summer beanies just do so bad on the market. But these are actually pretty valid designs. Um, the light blue is probably my favorite. The green, the pink's all right. The brown, the black is pretty bad on this one, in my opinion. I might go for that blue or brown, bro. I think those are the two that I really like the most. The pink's not bad either. This is actually a pretty cool beanie. Um, I wish we'd see more of this style beanie, to be honest. Next up is the airbrush short sleeve top. Uh, I would definitely do the hoodie over this one, man. I really don't like this one. I think the hoodie's a lot better. And is this Lee Quinones? It really looks like him, to be honest. I really wonder what artist did this on the back. But yeah, short sleeve tops are a skip. Even the sweatpants, like maybe the navy like you guys know i was gonna say it maybe those but otherwise i'd miss them and wow man you guys are actually kind of sleeping on these we got the striped cardigans down here um now these are probably not gonna do as hot as the cardigans from week one i was telling you all the cop and are now reselling for hella and i didn't get my size and like fuck my life bro you can tell i'm upset so i'm definitely gonna be getting one of these and if you guys again want to help me with colors I can't decide between the green or the black. Like, I have so many black clothing items. I don't need another. But, like, golly, bro, the little, like, accents of peach or tan or whatever, they're fucking gorgeous on this one. However, the sage is also pretty nice. But if you're going for this one for resale, man, which isn't a bad idea. Like, it is going to be one of those items you have to hold on to. But I do see there being a market for this. I would say go like XL, uh, black color. You could actually be really surprised. Profits you'll see in a few months. You want to come say hi to YouTube? Come here. Oh, look who it is. We got the Brick General herself, little Miss Moby. Oh, how is this girl? Dude, my cat hates being on YouTube so much, but she's letting me hold her a little bit today. All right, she's probably gonna chill out in my lap now for a little bit while we finish off this video. But yeah, um, if you guys like want a sleeper item that you hold on to and could actually get you some pretty nice profit, would recommend this. I don't think it's gonna be over 200 either. That leaves us with two more items left. Um, this one's a skip, man. I'm just not even gonna bother. Um, the denim hats can actually do kind of decent but uh, we're gonna end this one off with these studded velvet mesh five panels now this is a trucker hat uh, trucker hat was one of my sleeper picks week one one of the best reselling items week one might be a go bro it might actually be a go you guys might have thought I was gonna hate on it but I mean it's actually kind of a decent item black colorway man if you guys want to throw that into a multi cart I could see some profit for it. There is way more a chance of this one breaking than the other trucker I showed you guys, but I'm pretty positive that even if you held on to this one, it would eventually be selling for some decent profit. But I think you guys see the trend. A lot of items this week are hold items. That's just kind of the state of Supreme in a way in general. You do have to hold on to a lot of items to get worthwhile profit, but man, some of these items can just skyrocket. If you want right away profit this week, definitely get the contrast hooded sweatshirt and the colors I said. The Yankee denim items, no doubt in my mind, man, like that's the obvious one the new york yankees track jacket as well but besides that a lot of hold items you'll probably see me get a script logo beanie you'll probably see me get a cardigan and a clown sequin top and a triple multi cart after i take my l on the denim but that's going to conclude this video i'm like so distracted now petting my cat we're going to sign off on this video i hope you guys enjoyed and again if you want more resale analysis and just more help with copying these releases man go join browser i'd love to see you guys in there i'm in there every single day i'll see y'all later though it's been your boy boo and your girl moby i'm sorry i just had to wake you up but yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out. Peace.